brotherhood Call, see if your brother good Carry the groceries home, make sure that your mother good Tell your wife, shut her mouth If you love her, then fuck her good Protect her from the evil white media pumping to her Raise your kids up, stop beating your bitch up Causing schisms in the body, rebelling against us I ain't buy the Bugatti, I don't bang the Takashi I ain't found a Versace, I ain't cop the Harajis I got all black boots and they laced up I got a few black wives, no lace no lace Niggas see us in the streets, don't say nothing You ain't fucking with the gang If you split, you ain't shit You just fucking up the gang You PK, you PK Give the glory to the king If you split, you ain't shit You just fucking up the gang Gang, you gang for my homie And I'll be off of you niggas I get counseling every day To keep me off of you niggas See, I sleep with the Ruger Shit with the six sewer Seven your kids head And send this shit back to you Got a four fifth I don't tips with fat clips With minimum back kick Make niggas do back flips I got precepts Take you niggas to recess Cut your line upon line Till you bleed your I got bars that get under your skin and they feel on you Rip the tweeters out your stereo speakers and steal on you Up the deal on you, drill on them and kill on them Cats and chill on them, fuck you fuck around, kill one of them UBK, UBK, you ain't fucking with the gang If you split, you ain't shit, you just fucking up the gang UBK, UBK, get a guard to the king If you split, you ain't shit, you just fucking up the gang Gang, gang Y'all know what it is, man, one west, man We the only ones held on to this doctrine, man you know what I'm saying? When everybody else went off into that weirdo shit, y'all some bozos, you dig? If it ain't under command of General Yohanna, the ISUPK, it ain't the truth. Straight like that. One body of Christ, one spirit. I'm out. Back here, we didn't grow up in the Christian church. Right. Choir boys. Right. We was right in the hood, just like you. That's right. But guess what? The men that we saw in the street corners taught us this Bible. Right. And it was palatable when we heard it, man. That's we could right. agree. We could agree that what? That the white man is the devil according to the Bible. Yeah, that's right. right. We can agree that our people have been suffering, man. That's right. We can agree on what? That we should not sleep with the white woman because right. she's a dog. We should not sleep with the dirty African because they stink. That's right. right. We should not sleep with the Chinese woman because she's retarded. Right. We should not sleep with the East Indian woman because they eat snakes. Right. We should not sleep with the other nations, man. And what's right. going to help us to do that? The Bible. That's right. And guess what the Bible teaches, man? The Bible teaches brotherhood. Give me first John 4 and 20. We're going to bring out some regular scriptures, man. A lot of Christians say they know the Bible. They say, they say they know God. They say that they follow the Bible. Hold on, let me say this too. They also say they are God-fearing people. But yet and still, they do nothing that the Bible says. Man. Right. They do nothing that their God says. You know why? Because their God ain't the God of the Bible. Their God is a white man. The God of the Bible got nigger nets in his head. Like our brothers, like blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. And so do Jesus Christ. But guess what? You don't know that because you don't know the Bible. Your pastor doesn't teach you this Bible. Your pastor is not being brotherly. You can blame the pastors in the community for what Bill Cosby did, for what Kobe Bryant did, for what Kanye West did, for what Lamar Odom has done with sleeping with these dogs right. from these other nations, man. You blame your pastor for not teaching you brotherhood, for not being a brother and following the Bible. You want to test your pastor? Read the scripture and see if your pastor does this. Go ahead and read. The book of 1 John, chapter 4, verse 20. Go ahead. If a man say, I love God. Wait a minute, if a man what? If a man say, I love God. If he what? If I love God. He say, he love God. If I say I love God, read on. And hateth his brother. And what? And hateth his brother. The pastor hates you blacks and Hispanics, man. But they love money. Money is greed. Right. Money pay for that uh the blue suede shoes. Right. That that pimp suit. The money pay for that nice old road Rolls Royce he got. Money pay for that big old church. He don't love you though. Because if he loved you, and he would do what the Bible says. Right. And he would teach you this Bible. That's right. We bringing our scriptures in the Bible. The same Bible you take to church. 
Why didn't you see this? Because your pastor does not love God. No, he say he love God. How you know that he don't love God? Read on. If a man say, I love God and hate of his brother, he is a liar. He's a liar because he hates you. Why? Because he doesn't teach you the truth according to the Bible. Right. He doesn't teach you that it's wrong to sleep with white women. Right. That it's wrong to sleep outside your race. That's right. right. He doesn't teach you the things that we should be taught. He doesn't teach you to separate from white America, man. Right. To join with your nation, man. That's right. That's he right. doesn't teach you that blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics are the same goddamn race. They're the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Read on. For he that loveth not his brother. Wait, so if your pastor don't love you, go ahead. Whom he have seen. And he see you every day. He see you struggling with those children, man. He see you struggling with bills, paying your bills. He see you struggling to get up and go to that God-forsaken job right, that right. you got to go to, man. But he doesn't do this. Read. How can he love God? How can he love the Most High? He don't love the Most High. He let you be in poverty in America. Right. He teach you to join white America. He teach you the same thing Bill Cosby teach. Right. Pull up your pants. Speak uh, proper English, like Captain Cyber War said. Matter of fact, let me bring out what Officer Knox said. How the hell are you going to teach me to pull up my pants while you raping white women? Right. right. That don't even make sense. But guess what? Bill Cosby followed his pastor too. Right. And look at him now. Why, why did he go to the pastor and say, um, Pastor, I've been looking at this filthy white woman. I think she's beautiful. Should I speak with her? Because if he did, you know what the pastor would say. You know, as a matter of fact, his pastor was probably raping people. <laughs> right. You can put you can put that on everything. But they probably wasn't of age. Right. But if you done went to his pastor, you know what his pastor said? Man, look, Bill Cosby, we need a new roof on the church. You know what? You get us this new roof. God loves you. God loves everybody. You go get that nasty white dog. Right. And you guess right. what? He'd have been in the same position he is in now. Right. Because the pastor don't love you, man. The pastor doesn't understand the Bible. Give me Tobit chapter 4, verse 12. In the Apocrypha, man. Let me tell you something. Then I'm going to go into what Christ said. The blackest person on the face of the earth with the nappiest nigga nap hair you ever seen in your life but, is a man named Jesus Christ. Right. Right, black man. That's right. His name is Yahweh Shah Mashiach, meaning the Savior and the Anointed in our language. Right. The blacks and Native Americans and Hispanics, true language, which is Hebrew. But the earth know him as Jesus Christ. I'm going to get into some of the words he said after I go into the prophet Tobit, man. Read Tobit chapter 4, verse 12. Let's see what God has to say about us sleeping with nasty white women. About us sleeping with nasty East Indians right. and That's Africans. Right. This is my brother going to go into. Y'all need to know something. We ain't Africans, man. Black people are not Africans. That's, That's right. right. If you think you're an African, because you listen to your pastor. Right. What they show on BET? Nothing but Christianity, man. Right. Nothing but church and singing. And I went to church on Sunday. That's all on BET. Teaching you that you a goddamn African, man. Right. African commercials and Christians TV shows, man. None of them. And half of the TV shows on BET showing black women sleeping with white men. Right. Showing white uh, black men sleeping with white women. Let's see what God got to say about it. Read. In the Apocrypha, the book of Tobit, chapter 4, verse 12. Beware of all whoredom, my son. Be what? Beware of all whoredom, my son. And chiefly, take a wife of the seed of thy father. So wait a minute. God called you a whore if you want to sleep outside your race. Didn't Captain Ty Ward bring that out last week or something like that? Right. He said, you like the other races, you a hoe. How you gonna talk about women? And you a black man that sleep with white women. You whore yourself out to be with a dog. Right. Jesus Christ called the white woman a dog. Right. I don't know if you read the Bible, 
I don't know if your pastor ever taught you the Bible, right. but Jesus Christ called a white woman a dog. And she agreed. Right. It was palatable in her mind. Right. She agreed. Right. Read on. Come on. Chiefly, take a wife of the seed of thy father. Now wait. Chiefly, what is a chief? Someone that's over the people, that leads the people. So chiefly, this is something that's upheld. Something with authority. You better take the wife of your people, man. You better get a black woman if you're a Hispanic man. You better get a Hispanic woman if you're a Native American Indian man. That's right. You better get a black man if you're a Hispanic or Native American Indian woman or a black woman. If you're a black woman, get you a Hispanic or Native American right. Indian man. Or black man, because we're the same goddamn race. That's right. I don't know if your pastor ever taught you that. Right. That blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans are the same race. Right. That's right. You know why? Because he's too busy getting his damn shoes polished. Right. Too busy getting a baldy. Shaving his face, man. Right. Trying to look like a good American citizen while he leave you on the streets of Wilmington, Delaware to suffer, man. Right. 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 Go ahead, read on. So he said, take the, the daughter of your people. Choose somebody from your race, read. And take not a strange woman. Wait, take not a what? Take not a strange woman. Meaning don't take a strange woman. What's a stranger? Don't we teach children not to speak to a stranger? Right. It's somebody you don't know. We don't know them other races. We don't know what the hell they capable of. What diseases is hidden in their vagina. Right. What diseases is hidden in their penis, man? In right. their nasty mouth? Right. We don't know them. But I know black women. I know Hispanic women. I know Native American women. I know Israelites, according to the Bible. That's man. right. I know what to expect from a black woman. Right. I know what she get mad at. Right. I know what a Hispanic woman gets mad at. I know what make my brother mad. I hate to say, if you step on a sneaker, you get mad. I right. know that. Right, right. I don't know what the hell make a white man shoot up a church. Right. right. The hell is wrong with white people, man. Right. That's right. We don't know what to expect from them. They are strangers. And we should not want to sleep with them. Look at what happened with them. Tiger Woods. He didn't know what to expect from that crazy ass, uh, crazy brown white woman. That's right. right. What she do? She beat him with the golf club. Right. Ain't that ironic? Right. right. She beat him with the golf club. Right. <laughs> Kobe Bryant. Look at what happened with look at what happened with Kanye West. Right. He said, look, he's ready to go crazy over that bald head, white dog. Right. Or Amber Rose. She was a bald head definitely, man. And he was in love with that nasty dog, man. You right. know why? Because he believed in Christianity. He believed in what the pastor says, man. Right. No sweat. He believed in that, man. Let me tell you something. And we're going to get into more of the scripture. Y'all better listen to, to what these brothers are speaking about on this corner. To what the prophets of the Lord is speaking about in the ISUPK. Read. And take not a strange woman to wife. So don't take no other race. If you black Native American and Hispanic, deal with black Native Americans and Hispanics and leave these white devils to be dogs and dirty and treacherous thieves trying to steal the culture of the blacks who are the real Jews according to the Bible. That's right. right. Let these devils be devils, man. Right. That's right. Let them stick away. They want to act like they us. They want to be Jews so bad. So do the whole earth want to be blacks and Hispanics. Right, right. right. Let them be diseased white devils. But you black man and Hispanic man and Native American man, you stick to your people. Damn right. right. And you right. take a black woman a wife or a Hispanic woman a wife. Free. Time. Which is not of their father's tribe. For we are the children of the prophets. But we are the what? The children of the prophets. If you're a black man, you're a child of the prophets. If you're a Hispanic man, you're a child of the prophets. If you're a Native American man, you're the child of a prophet. That's right.